you're gonna grab a foam roller and you're going to put the side of your rib cage directly on the roller. It might be really tender, so just be easy with it. The purpose of this exercise or this drill is really to gain relaxation. So challenging when it's tender. So first thing, just lay on it and try to breathe as calmly as possible without hesitating or holding your breath. Make sure that when you lay, your hips are not forward of your ribs because that's gonna encourage the crunch muscles to turn on and we actually wanna inhibit them. So have your hips either directly in line with your rib cage, if not a little bit behind. Even if that means you're a little bit arched in the back, I prefer that so we're not caving this in. Directly on the side, knife you sign facing forward, not down. And then try to breathe calmly, full breaths. When you exhale, try to drape over, try to let those ribs deflate so you're kind of melting into that roller. Exhale as much as you can, and then breathe in really calmly through your nose. And you might start to feel air go into this opposite side. Do that a couple times. Exhale and drape. Breathe in super slow. And you should start to feel some expansion gently in that opposite side. If this is feeling better, you can play with where the roller is. So maybe a little bit lower down for ladies, if you feel that it's like right along the side breast, you can go a little bit lower down below it. Same idea here, breathe in through your nose. And what you can add to, as long as tenderness is not too extreme, is you can start to face down. So you can grab that rib cage, guide it to close so the Nike sign faces down, and then hold this to breathe in. And I recommend that as you move through it, you can exhale while moving, maybe close a little more, and then hold whatever position you deflate in to breathe in. So I'm gonna exhale and move to kind of manipulate the shape of that, and then hold wherever I finish up to breathe in.